Um, morning, Gaffer. Recovered from Tuesday night yet? <laughs> yeah, just about. Um, it was a great night, wasn't it? So everybody enjoyed themselves. It was a um, great win, good performance, and and yeah, it was a it was a nice day yesterday. Could relax, but straight away now we're on to planning for Aki. Exactly, and we spoke after the game, and you know I asked you what's the key to taking this momentum into the, you know the last nine games of the season. You said belief, energy. Guessing it's the same, but how important is it to not let that game against Portsmouth kind of be the big moment of the season? Yeah, um, it's so important, and we've said that a few times uh, over the course of the season to the players. So I remember the performance at Sheffield Wednesday at home. Everyone was you know, delighted, and we said that can't be the highlight, and then. The Chelsea performance as well, that was another one where this couldn't be the pinnacle of the season and so the message is the same and the players to be fair have took it on board every single time, they've dealt with each game as it comes as we would want them to and they've been different class in their attitude and I'm sure today when they come back in today and they're training they'll be ready to go. They're all be pleased, obviously, that we won, but they understand that Aki is another massive game. Yeah, and I suppose the fact we've had those big moments in the season already probably will help them. That they, you know, as you said, they already reacted quite well to them. Like yeah, um, the, the squad is maturing, isn't it? All throughout the season, they're getting um, a little bit more confidence, a little bit more belief. Hopefully, as it goes on, we're still in the in the in, in the mix, we're in the pack, that are chasing for the playoffs. So. They have dealt with them highs, they've dealt with a few lows as well over the course of the season. They haven't sort of let a bad performance or a bad result affect them too much and that just shows the maturity that we've got and, and yeah, we're going to need that you know, calmness from, for the next nine nine games. We picked out, um, we could have picked out, sorry, anybody from that performance on Tuesday to kind of highlight and say what an unbelievable game. I think our man in that spoke was close because so many people played well, but I think you spoke to you know the external press about Stephen Sessegnon coming in for his first start yeah. in a game like that in front of that sort of atmosphere. And I suppose that kind of backs up the point you always make or have been making recently that even though players haven't been in the team, Ryan Law's another example mm -hmm. came in and just looked fine. Mm -hmm. Everybody seems ready. Everyone is ready, yeah. And that's credit to them, it's credit to the players that they train uh, really hard and they work. You know, to the highest standard every single day, and you know the coaching staff drive that. So the lads um, all understand their roles and what what the, what's required when they come in. They're always in great condition physically when they step in because it's hard if you've been out the team to just come straight in. So again, the, the medical team and Elliot and the performance staff all everyone needs to, when everything's going well. Everybody can see where where the work is, you know, what's required and. And yeah, it's it's going great. I thought Sess the other day was played excellent for his first start. Mm. He just ran out of legs a little bit with ten minutes to go, but again, yeah, we probably expected that. And um, but I'm sure if he's called upon on Saturday, he'll be ready again. And we all knew what a quality player he was, and in, internally, and now now the fans have got to see him as well for eighty odd minutes. So really good, really pleasing. How much confidence does it give you as a coach and a coaching staff, I suppose, that if you make changes to a team, you know it's not going to disrupt yeah. the way the side's been playing? Yeah, it's it's really good because we can feel that like we can pick a team based on what we feel is going to win that next game. And if that means resting a couple or taking a couple out to put somebody else in for, for whatever type of game it's going to be, then we feel confident that we can go out and get a result. So, as I keep saying, that's what we want to build a squad for. And we've got all the players who are ready. There's, there hasn't been a drop off in performance when we have made changes, and I say we're going to need that as well because if something does unexpectedly happen, then someone's ready to step in, and and yet we'll just deal with it and move on and keep trying to get results. Next game is Accrington. Um, they got a good point in in the week against Sheffield Wednesday, yeah. didn't they? So you know that again proves the nature of this league, doesn't it? You look at them and think, right, have they got much to play for? But Evidently, they've they've got that quality in there. Haven't they? they have, um, and John Coleman and Jimmy Bell. They won't they won't allow their players to even consider stepping off the gas, no matter where they are in the league. Um, once again, they've had a good season. Um, they picked up some good results lately. They beat Wickham not so long ago. They, they beat Charlton. Got us good results against Sheffield Wednesday. So we always know what John and Jimmy's teams are like. They, they work really hard, they've got a real good team spirit about them. They get players from lower leagues who've got points to prove, so when they're coming here to 
home park and on a big atmosphere, then they'll be ready to perform. I think last time we played them at home here, the short Hughes played in the game and it was a real tough game, so we're expecting no different. Well, I suppose Hughes is a little little insider, is he? Bit of info well, he, yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he knows how they work, yeah, he's, he's been there for years, so he understands it, but, um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be our game, you know, they've got some good players, Colby Bishop's a good striker in this division, and Sean McConville creates chances all the time, and, and yeah, they've got some big lads, the real effect of the game from set plays, they've scored loads of goals from set pieces, so we have to be ready, similar sort of messages to the players, and get ready to go again, try and get another three points. Just finally, you know, the fans made a huge impact on, on Tuesday. Unbelievable atmosphere. Might not be like that every single game between now and the end of the season, but how much of a role do they have to play? Um, I, I, listen, we, we want it to be like yeah, that well, from now to the end of the season. How many home games have got left? Five? Putting me on the spot. Five, five home, yeah. four away, is it? So, we, we, want it, we want it full. I know it doesn't matter that it was, it was Portsmouth at home and the atmosphere that the, all our fans should be really excited because as I say we're in the playoff hunt we're in the mix of trying to do something really unbelievable this season so we want it to be like that that atmosphere because as I said on Tuesday night it helps like that second half atmosphere in particular and look it's a give and take thing the players have got to go and put performances in and get the crowd going like I thought I thought Joey Edwards just epitomised that uh, on Tuesday night when his performance, especially second half, just to get everything going. That's what you need your captain for. But but the players need to drive it and then the fans need to get behind us because you know they'll get us over the line.